Hello everyone, this is Jeff from Baron Leathercraft and today we have a laser review. This one is from a company called Two Trees and it's quite a unique laser. For all I know, it's the only diode laser that has a auto-focusing mechanism. There is a stepper motor that is able to control the Z-axis, which allows you to program and automate its movements. Two Trees went ahead and sent me this laser, as well as an air assist and a honeycomb board to do a fair and honest review, so let's go ahead and check it out. Normally I don't concern myself with packaging, but I have to say Two Trees really did package this really well. It comes in three separate boxes, marked A, B, and C, but there's no reason to open them in any particular order. I didn't do a build in this video. There are a lot of good videos out there that show how to create this thing. I will say it took less than an hour to build, and this thing is built strong. It's a great design. You know if you're not putting it together correctly because each piece basically snaps in. So if, it's, if you're having a struggle, you're not putting it together correctly. So, instead of doing a build, I wanted to dedicate the time to the auto-focusing mechanism and power and speed settings for this device. Let's go through some of its specs first, though. The laser module is 20 watts and it has a 0 0.08 millimeter spot lens capability. As you see, it has an emergency stop button and an LED fire alarm, and of course the alarm goes off when tilted. This is the side panel where you will be plugging in your USB cable and your power cable. And there's also a space for a SD card. The gantry runs on a quality single motor. On the other side of the gantry is a belt tightening knob. And here's a view of the entire gantry. This 20 watt laser module comes with built in air assist. You just need to get a pump. All the cabling comes pre-tucked into cabling vertebrae, which is nice, and they're easy to install. Here's the cabling vertebrae along the gantry, and here's the manual focus knob for when you need to use it. The laser does have stop sensors to keep it from running off the rails. The engraving size is 410 millimeters by 410 millimeters. I was very impressed with the Two Trees Air Assist Pump. It comes in this nice case, first of all, and it comes with everything you need to hook up your air assist pump to other modules from different companies. But the module that the TS2 laser, 20 watt laser comes with, already has air assist ready. You're just basically putting the tube into the pump. The pump is constructed really well. It's got some great weight to it, and it's really quiet. It's the most quiet of the pumps that I've received from any company so far. It's fully adjustable, and it goes from 10 to 30 liters a minute. The power cable is fine, it's functional, but the actual pump I thought was really well made. It has very soft feet, and it seems to prevent it from vibrating quite a bit. Two Trees also sent a 14 by 14 honeycomb cutting board. It is made of aluminum. These are some feet that come along with it. I haven't found the need to put them on at this point. Like I said, it's aluminum, so magnets have no effect on them. Steel would have been nice because then you'd have two options, but this is the first time I actually used pegs that came with the board. And the pegs have a nice low profile and they fit in there really well. So it's nice to put them on the corner pieces. It would have been nice to have both options to be able to use the magnets, Magnets are good because you can actually place them on top of certain material to hold them down. The pegs are going to go mostly on the quarters and along the side. But overall, it's a really nice honeycomb board. Now, one of the coolest aspects of this machine is that it can auto-focus on the Z-axis. This is the first diode laser that I'm familiar with that has that ability. So let me give you an example. When you install the software, it comes with five setup macros. Macros are basically commands to tell the machine what to do, and you can set up your own macros. But it comes with six, particularly the engrave, which sets the focus for a perfect engrave. Plus it also has macros for cutting material, and it shows the different thickness of the material. So let me go ahead and hover the laser over some of the material. 
There you go. Now if I hit the engrave button, it'll autofocus the machine to be able to engrave at what it thinks is the optimum. There you go. If you noticed, the laser uh, moved up and down. Now I'm going to hit the cut three millimeters button and this will set the optimum level to cut material that's three millimeters. Here I'm going to do that again. There you go. And I'm going to hit engrave again. Just to give you an example. After you use any of the autofocus macros, it's important to home the machine after that because the machine thinks it's home already. So if you went to go do a project, it's going to search in the wrong direction. So make sure you home the machine first. There you go. Now the machine is homed. So that's how you set the autofocus with the macros that are built in. Of course, when you're dealing with a project, you're going to have many layers. Some of them are going to be engraved layers, and some of them can be line layers, and some could be cut layers. So I have very little experience with Z-axis. This is the first dial laser that I know of that has autofocus on the Z-axis. So I went ahead and reached out to Dave from the Clack Shack. I want to make sure you're familiar with his YouTube channel. So it's C-L-A-C-K-S-H-A-C-K. He was very happy to give me information that I needed to be able to finish this review. I've watched his review on this machine. It was excellent and I knew he knew how to use it. So I asked him, how am I able to set up the machine to be able to refocus during a project's uh, burning? And he told me that you have to go ahead and go to each layer and you'll see let me click on this uh, black one for example and set the Z offset now I have mine in inches right now so it's 0 .0591 which comes out to about 1.5 millimeters this layer is set to cut 3 millimeter material and the optimum focus is halfway between that material which is 1.5 millimeters or in inches 0 0.0591 so that's how you set it to change its focus in the middle of doing a job the red layer here which is this circle right here I have set exaggerated to actually raise up the laser 10 millimeters that way we could see it you know for this demonstration that way it'll be clear to see how the laser is changing focus so that's set to 0.3937 inches, which is 10 millimeters. The blue layer is set for engraving. It'll run this pretty quickly because this is just a demonstration. I didn't want to actually burn anything or cut anything here because I wanted it to be moving quickly so you can get an idea of how it does everything. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit start. It's going through the engraved layer, which is small, so this won't take long. There, if you see it adjusted to the proper height for cutting 3 millimeter, It's going to do two passes, because I wanted everyone to be able to see it. Now, after this third pass, it should go ahead and refocus by raising itself. There it goes. See, it's raising itself 10 millimeters, And it's doing the final cut. When it's all done, it'll home itself and actually go back. Now it's going down. It homed itself back to zero. And that's basically it. It's very simple to do. Once again, I want to thank Dave from the Clack Shack. He was kind enough to give me a hand, so go ahead and check out his YouTube channel, The Clack Shack. Now let's get into burning some material. It's very easy to frame material with this laser. This is a wood coaster, and if you notice the laser dot that's traveling around the coaster, as you see, what I'm doing is actually lining up the laser with the coaster edges. 
I already have it locked in. If you could see, there's the beam right there. It's really simple. The glass is easy to see through. And once you get it zoned in, you're ready to go, ready to get to work. I started off testing the machine with wood and this is three millimeters thick and the engraved speed was 6,000 millimeters a minute at 70% power and the cut was 300 millimeters a minute at 90% power. This machine can go faster of course but I wanted to get a deep burn and get an understanding of how it works. This is at 6,000 once again and 70% power. I used full air assist. Now with this one, this is the dragon and tiger design, yin and yang. I do this design on most of my reviews so you can get an idea of the difference between them. But this one I went ahead and sped it up to 7,000 millimeters a minute at 60% power. I would be happy to use these power settings on this particular type of wood again. I think that this came out nice. This is a keychain that Two Trees sent to me. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is, but at 7,000 millimeters a minute and 70% power, it came out nice. I was happy with these power and speed settings. And in such a small design, it really was able to hold the detail. You could see each little line was drawn really well. Now we're going to cut some 15 millimeter wood. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is, but it's not a hard wood. It was pretty light. I went ahead and did four passes and it cut it, cut it out effortlessly at 200 millimeters a minute and 90% power. I personally don't like to run my laser at 100%, but I'm sure it would have been much faster. With this piece of wood, I went ahead and used 7,000 millimeters a minute and 70% power again. I seem to like that setting for wood with this device. The power setting might be high for some people, but I personally like my engraving to be pretty deep. Here's the back of this uh, piece of wood. I went ahead and did this at the same speed because I found that I just liked the outcome. This is one of those $3 planks from like Dollar General or Family Dollar. And it took me about an hour and a half to make. I did it at 7,000 millimeters and 70% power. It really came out nice and dark. I was really happy with the outcome of this. This is the setting I would use for this material if I was to do it again. All right, now we're moved on to leather. This is eight ounce veg tan leather and I engraved it at 8,000 millimeters a minute and 40% power. I was really happy with the details. If you see these small lines came out really nice. It has a nice dark burn to it. I was really happy with the outcome. Leather and lasers just go together really well. Leather just really does engrave well. And if you look, the detail looks beautiful on here. You got that nice dark color. This is at 40% power, 6,000 millimeters. I was very happy with the outcome here. Okay, it's time to cut some really thick leather. This is 10 ounce leather. This is about as thick as I personally will use. Leather comes heavier, obviously, people that make saddles and stuff. But it cut really well in one pass, 300 millimeters a minute at 80% power. And I did the engraving on this at 7,000 millimeters a minute and 50% power. This is my first 20 watt laser machine and you definitely are able to speed it up and you're able to use the lower power setting which is really nice. You're always going to choose quality burn and cutting over speed but you are able to definitely speed it up and use a lower power. Slate is also a lot of fun to do and I was able to use a faster speed and a lower power than normal on this. I went ahead and used 8,000 millimeters a minute and 60% power. On my 10 watt laser I would use 5,000 millimeters a minute so I definitely am able to do this job a lot quicker than I used to be. This is an Escher design that I quickly just threw up on my light burn. I did this a little bit uh, less power at 50% instead of 60% and I was still happy with the outcome. I didn't take a lot of time tweaking this image for engraving. There's definitely an art to tweaking an image in order to have it engraved and I just need to spend a little more time with this design. When it came to engraving stainless steel, I went ahead and slowed down the machine to 5,000 millimeters a minute and 90% power and I was really happy the way it came out. I figured I'm not going to melt it so let's slow the machine down and really get this pattern dug into this material. I did the same thing here 5,000 millimeters and 90% power and I was very happy with the outcome. In fact I'm going to end up doing a lot more metal material now because this laser definitely engraved it very well. 
Here's another piece of metal I did at the same speed, 5,000 millimeters a minute, 90% power. Definitely happy with the outcome. Definitely looking forward to doing more metal. I thought the Two Trees TS2 laser cut well, it engraved well. The fact that it has the unique feature of an autofocus on the Z-axis I thought was fantastic. I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing other companies that are going to mimic the same concept and idea. It's amazing to me in just this year how advanced the technology has gotten with these diode lasers. The power keeps on increasing and now we have autofocus control of the Z-axis. I think it's great. This Two Trees machine is really built solid. It's like a tank. It is very strong. Considering this machine has a 20 watt laser, it has the capability of auto-focusing the Z-axis, it's built tough, I could see myself using this a lot around my shop. Now it just comes down to further dialing in the power and speed settings that it performs the most optimum at. I hope you enjoyed this laser review. I hope perhaps you left with a little bit more information about this particular unit. I hope by sharing some of the power settings that I used and the speed settings might give you an idea of the capabilities of the machine. It always is nice when I watch a review and they share the actual settings that they used to get the results that they did. If you don't mind giving this video a like, that would be great. It's an easy way for you to show your appreciation and I truly will appreciate it. Thank you very much. I hope everyone has a great day. I got some more videos on the horizon. Please subscribe if you like, if you have an interest in leather crafting and lasers. Thank you very much and take care.